Raihan is just too strong. Does anyone stand a chance? We can't forget about Mr. Ball Guy. I think this is probably the second or last time we get to see him. Oh, that's right. We already talked to him. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Oh, look at his little cry. Raihan's match is coming up. All right. We shall try. I did say I wanted to make a lot of progress in this game, and I am. <clears throat> Let's just hope my throat can handle it. That uniform you wear is a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination. Here we go, boys. The Dragon-type gym. And I can't even switch out my Pokemon at this point. <laughs> hey, put your phone down. We're doing a gym challenge here. Yo, champ in the making. Let's see how many gym challengers are left. Not even ten, eh? Alright then. Time to explain the Great Raihan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All you got to do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations that you and your Pokemon should be capable of. Oh, so it's like combination learning. That's probably more than enough of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Yep, that's me. First, that dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. Well, maybe I actually, maybe I actually should have brought my Grim Snarl next to Dracovish. You got a Sligu and a Pelipper. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely should have brought... I Yeah, I definitely should have brought an electric type with me. Oh, Drizzle. Huh. Maybe he's going to have like some sort of thunder attack. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can kill off Sligu easily. Oh, all right. Same goes for Corviknight. Good job, boys. That actually makes me wonder if the last gym battle is going to be a double battle, because you can still do Dynamaxing even if there, even if it is a double battle. Tailwinds. That's actually speeding up the enemy. That's actually like. A speed boost for the user's team. So, like, it doesn't even say it, but it actually does raises up your speed. Yeah, we're doing a good job so far. I I just hope that I can make it out alive. So that's one down and two to go. My Draco Zolt is climbing up in ranks, too. There's a lot to think about with them. It makes them difficult, but fun, too. Just just much as how I'm, like, reacting to this whole game, too, with my throat <coughs> being so blocked. Maybe I'm just, like, paying too much attention to everything at once. That's all. Like, I'm trying to lo look at the game, I'm trying to look at the, the, uh, the stream, like the, uh, the OBS studio, and also the, um, the dashboard. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role of each of your opponent's Pokemon play. That's Camilla. Oh, crap. She's got a Turtonator. 
Oh, and I have my Corviknight up front, so that's not good. That's not good for Corviknight. Let's just see if uh, we can kill it very easily. Actually. I actually should have used Earthquake. But I think Earth Power is also effective. Crap. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a Shell Trap. Oh, it it's probably a signature move that it does, like a spiky shield. Well, it's a good thing I'm not hitting it. That's okay, it can leave it with a burn. Nice, let's go. Okay, that's nine tails down. That's good, at least. Ancient power. Is it actually called Spiky Shield, or is it like Burst Shield? Oh, Shell Trap. Well, it's a good thing that Shell Trap didn't work, because we didn't actually make contact with it. But, I think... Yeah, let's, let's do Dragon Pulse. Yeah, it's it, it's really trying to self up with its trap. We're we're gonna have to actually like kill it physically. Oh, never mind. That actually worked. Bleh. I think I remember using Turtonator as one of my favorites in Sun and Moon because I do like tanks. The weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. Well, one more to go. I can see those seven badges you have were well earned. Thank you, thank you so much. Made it to the third trainer. Did they even like think about some combination moves? I remember... I remember the strategy guide in Pokemon Coliseum learning about combination moves. And I thought that was pretty cool. All right, time for battle number three. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through, or do you have one of them support the other? Ooh, so we're having like a, a support and a DPS kind of team. <coughs> Obama Snow and Hakomo, or Hakomo. I think, yeah, Jang Moo's family line is actually a Pokemon sh uh, Sword exclusive. And in Pokemon Shield, you can get Larvitar. Um, I actually want to get rid of um, Obama Snow. Because I could do both Drill Peck and Ancient Power. And I also think due to my effectiveness or affection with my Pokemon's team after all that Pokemon camp stuff, I think their speed has boosted up. Because I never would have thought that Dracofish would be faster than all these Pokemon that I'm facing. Unless it just has like really fast legs like a Raptor. Hey, it's gonna learn Crunch. That's better than Bite. Maybe I should actually have Dracofish as my lead. Oh, Dragon Claw. <laughs> really? That's it? The, that was nothing but a whiff. Nothing but a whiff of my chest. Time to use Dragon Pulse. <laughs> he's, he's just like, oh, what now? God dang. Gotta figure out something else. I knew you could do it. 
I, I just know for a fact, too, I think Dracofish is the most ugliest of the dinosaur group. And I love him. Even, even at their most ugliness, you have to love. Otherwise, you're a fucking asshole. I have honored. I am honored to have battled against such a talented trainer. Nice one, Brian. You've completed my gym mission. Well, I guess that was easy then. I mean, if there were, even if there was like so little of um of a gym challenge or like gym challengers to make it this far, like you could have at least just think of some creative. Not that I'm saying it's rude of me, but like... I mean, all the other gym challenges were so creative, and now, up to this point, it's just like... Battle up against battle. With nothing else. Like, even Spike Muth's gym wasn't even a gym, but it was just up against Team Yell. Which, they weren't even like bad guys in the first place. Like... I had no idea. Alright, I'm back. Alright. Had that good fresh of water. I, I was losing my train of thought there for a little bit, but I think I just needed some water. But yeah, like, up to this point, ever since the, um, the Spike Muth gym challenge, this was just nothing but trainer battling. Maybe it really was just because... They never thought they have so less of gym challengers. I mean... If it was according to the real world... There would be so much gym challengers. Now... I actually do want to... I actually do want to use my Draco Fish for this fight. I actually do want to. And I think that's what we're going to do. I, I had a debate whether it's going to be Dracofish or Frostmoth. But, but I guess it, I've grown more into my dinosaur than my my ice types. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though, I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. Pokemon, er, But I guess I shouldn't have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promise in. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym Leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather. He only seeks two-on-two -two battles. Okay, so it is a double battle. You must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Well, I guess then that must mean I should have brought my moth out. Well, first, let me take a selfie. Gigalith and Flygon. Okay. Let's do this then. And I'm ready to Dynamax too. He even has a Rotom phone as well, and he's actually, like, recording it. <laughs> that is so him. Like, he's just been using his cell phone, too. Alright. I could try and take out Flygon very easily. Since I know, like, I think Dragon types are going to be such a pain to go through. Oh, and, uh, Iron Head. I can use it on Gigalith. Oh, but... What about the Sandstorm? Wait, what was that move? Breaking Swipe. Was that a Dragon-type move? That felt like it. Ooh, shit. <laughs> that actually held on. And that held on, too. Okay. I never thought that actually happened. I think I'm going to have to quick attack these guys. Okay. Okay. 
Let's see. Like, I don't want to Dynamax just yet, too. Like, I might as well just... Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Let's, um... Let's use Earth Power on Gigalith. And then Drill Peck on Flygon. See if we can... Oh, God. Thunder Punch. See if we can actually kill one or the other. And that's all she wrote. Good job, buddy. Good job, fish head. <laughs> I am a realistic fish head. And that's it. So now he has like two more left. Wonder what they're gonna be, actually. I should probably actually like heal my Draco. Oh shit! I, for I almost forgot about this guy, Mecha Godzilla. Also known as uh, Geraladon. God, I almost forgot about this guy. I have a feeling too that he's going to be the one that's going to Dynamax. Um, here, let's uh, let's let's do Max Quake on this guy. And then we'll try and heal. He thrilled it to bits, too. Alright, let's go. Mega Yates! Oh god. Now he really feels like a dinosaur. Look at him. My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. Nope, he took a picture of it. Oh my god. I've never seen that form before. He looks like a fucking building. He looks like the prison tower from Lumio City. Oh, that almost killed him too. Now this is a kaiju fight. <laughs> Let's do it. Time for our G-Max depletion. Oh god, I think this is actually going to kill me. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess it didn't. Oh, my power points were reduced, too. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to actually keep my Draco fish alive here. So, Max Quake on Duraludon. And Paralyze Heal. <laughs> I think the Santa Con is just like, what am I doing here? <laughs> protect oh it's probably going to use like earthquake or something boosh hey let's go mecha godzilla is defeated oh jeez you know jesus now that was an actual Dynamax fight. But now we we still need to take care of Sandaconda. And how are we going to do that? There's Max Wormwind. Or Max Wormwind. And then there's Corviknight. <laughs> I was like, oh wait. We still need to take care of the little Sand Boy. That's actually weird, too. He has both a ground-type Pokemon and dragon-types. Like, is he a dual-type mix? Because I thought he would be more like a dragon-type gym leader.
Good job, buddy. I knew you could do it. Woo! No. Oh, I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. Hey, that's that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, even the Rotom phone is a little bit upset at him. Or like feel bad about him. I didn't know the Rotom phone had feelings. Well, the Rotom Dex does, but I didn't think that would. In the aftermath of a furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival? Seems I've grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory, the dragon badge. Jeez, he's so tall. <laughs>